Hi everyone, uh, today my friend Noha is coming today to show us how to prepare the burek. It's an Armenian uh, recipe and as you remember she prepared for us uh, the falafel before. Her recipes are so good and so easy to follow. Now it's your turn Noha. Hello, uh, I'm very happy that uh, my friend Afifa is hosting me today. So today we are going to prepare the burek, which is a mid-Asian uh, recipe. It's well known in Turkey, Greece, Cyprus, and all the world now, and you know, East Europe. Everybody is doing the uh, burek, but the Armenian one has a specific uh, uh, thing that it can be uh, vegetarian. We don't have meat in it. We have spinach, cheeses, and eggs. So it's easy to do and we'll start. You will find all the ingredients uh, below the, the video and I will mention everything now here, okay? Of course, we will have the burek, dough, we will have eggs. The burek dough is uh, like uh, the filo dough. Filo, filo dough, sorry, the filo dough. Uh, we have Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, feta, Greek feta cheese and butter of course i put here 200 grams of butter maybe i will not use them all but in case and i will have the spices as mentioned it's uh, salt pepper cinnamon and uh, oregano and mainly i have the spinach spinach i uh, i bring the fresh spinach uh, about uh, 400 grams or or even more because it becomes very small when you put it on fire. So now it's put, uh, we, I already tried to put it on fire, so I, I will show you now. And after cooking it for just like few minutes, uh, I squeeze it from the water in order to use it for our recipe, okay? Do you add any butter or oil? Nothing, nothing, nothing. For the stuffing, nothing at all. Just like this, I will uh, let it, you know, become smaller and then I will squeeze it and uh, put it. By the way, I, I am baking now a small uh, bread tray so that you can see after it's baked, how does it look like, okay? Okay, after the, uh, cooking the spinach for just a few minutes to let it look like this, I squeeze very hard all the water out of it because we don't want uh, any fluids uh, on the dough. Okay, look, there is a lot of water, but although I didn't put any. Okay, I put them again in this uh, uh, pan so that I will add all the ingredients and cook it for a little because we have eggs. And when we have eggs and we want to freeze the, the food, I prefer to cook it for a little before putting it in the freezer. So here we're done. See the water? There's a lot. Okay, now I'm going to add the eggs, four eggs. Mix well. Put all the spices with the salt. just so that the egg, the eggs become a, bit, a little bit cooked. Now the Parmesan cheese, which is grated or by hand or by uh, the, uh, the blender. Okay. 
And then this is the feta cheese. You can do it by hand, it's easy. The, this is Greek feta cheese because also the Greek are famous in doing the uh, uh, poric. And this is the mozzarella because it gives the cheeses a little bit of, uh, you know, taste and uh, texture. texture. <laughs> Okay, we're, we're not going to cook it too much, just so that the eggs are a little bit cooked. <coughs> okay, now while that, this is cooked, <coughs> this is enough cooking, uh, I'll put it off. <coughs> And I will show you now how we do the uh, filo. And this is the tray I'm going to use. And the measurements of this tray are uh, mentioned on the page. I'll put a little bit of butter on the parchment paper by the brush and then I will open the filo dough I take half of the sheets put them in the tray the other half I will cover it by a kitchen a clean kitchen uh, uh, towel so that it doesn't dry because filo dough dries very, very quickly. So look here, you have all these layers. I would take almost half of them like this. Okay. This is more than half. Okay. I'll cover. So this is spinach. So. Yeah, on my hand. No, no, on the on the parchment paper, only for you to know. Okay. For them to. Know. Yeah. Okay. It's exactly the size of the tray. I'll put. This is not half. It's less than half. I'll put some more. Okay, some spinach is on the dough, which is fine, no problem. Now, some people would put butter uh, between each layer. I don't put that because I don't want to use too much butter. It becomes, uh, you know, uh, so heavy when you, you use a lot of butter. Now, this is my half of the layers I'm putting some butter and now I'll put the ingredients that I have here that are half cooked so <coughs> the cheese is melting it looks beautiful and very very nice smell Okay, I spread the stuffing all over the dough. It smells cheesy. Okay, now I will put the rest of the filo. See how easy? This is it. This is the rest. I make sure that the sides are going inside. From both sides, you can use a knife. Okay. 
Okay. And now I press it a little to make it soft and nice and even because I am going to cut it before putting the last amount of butter. See, you cut to the bottom. Okay, I cut the filo, I cut the, the, the break and took squares. And I will, I, I use this one in, in like a ruler if you have it. If you don't, it's okay. And a cutter. Uh, there is a cutter especially for the kitchen for cutting these things. You can also use a knife instead with something to measure. Now I'm going to put as much uh, butter as I want uh, by the brush or I can drop a little and then because I want the butter to go between the pieces between the cuts see like this this is enough butter for one side as I said before I don't want to use too much butter you can use as much as you want because some people use like 400 grams like but i don't like that it's too much fats see maybe we're not going to use this also all which is not a problem it's still very very delicious with too much butter or without too much butter so I think I used like 150 grams and I think it's it's more than enough. I can see that. I spread it evenly over the, the tray and you see everything, there is butter, butter, everything and it's going down between the cuttings. See, so, okay. And that's it. We put it in the oven on 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees centigrade for 40 to 45 minutes. You can see when it's like brownish color and uh, the the top uh, layer uh, uh, puff, puffs up. Okay, sahtain and have a nice day. Okay, this is the already baked uh, uh, break. It smells good, very nice, and uh, the taste, I'm sure, is very good. And sahtain, sahtain. Sahtain.